A care home employee who raped a vulnerable resident who was later diagnosed with HIV has escaped justice, it has been revealed. The horrific attack occurred in a care facility in London, and was only discovered after the resident, known only as Cassie, to protect her. Identity collapsed in 2016, Cassie, who is now aged in her 50s, has autism and lacks the mental capacity to consent to sex. She was immediately taken to Guy's Hospital after her collapse, where medical staff made the grim discovery. Now, a new report has also revealed a further five residents may have fallen victim to the rapist between 2006 and 2016, although the perpetrator is unlikely to face justice due to a lack of forensic evidence. An investigation into the independent facility for people with special needs, which has since closed down, has been carried out by Brent Council, with the organization expressing deep and sincere regret for the abuse. According to the Sunday Express, Cassie, who had been a resident at the home since she was a child, had experienced concerning health problems for years leading up to her collapse. Cassie was sick for a long time in 2015 and no one knew what was wrong with her. Then one day she fell down and couldn't get up. They did an HIV test and then another. Then we had a meeting with everyone, Cassie's mother told the publication. A Brent Council spokesman told the Daily Mail former residents of the home where the abuse took place have since been moved to new, secure facilities. We can confirm that Cassie is no longer living in a care home managed by the previous provider and the other five residents who lived there with her have also been moved to other homes with the cooperation of their families. The spokesman said, Cassie and all the former residents are now safe and happy, and Cassie is having all her health and care needs met. We continue to monitor her progress regularly as well as maintaining contact with her family. We no longer place any residents in care homes run by this provider. A full investigation was conducted by the police who concluded that, unfortunately and despite best efforts, there was insufficient evidence to bring a criminal prosecution against anyone. The news comes just weeks after a similar story involving a woman who had been in a vegetative state for more than a decade who fell pregnant while in hospital. The unnamed woman was a patient at the Hacienda Healthcare Facility in Arizona in the U.S. after she was left incapacitated after she nearly drowned more than a decade ago. According to CBS News, the woman began moaning on December 29, with staff eventually delivering a healthy baby boy. Staff reportedly had no idea the patient was expecting until before she went into labor. Her rapist, 36-year-old Nathan Sutherland, was eventually arrested last week. He will be charged with one count of sexual assault and one count of vulnerable adult abuse. If you or someone you know is affected by sexual assault, please call 1-800-RESPECT-1-800-737-732. Continue the conversation at Carrie underscore Alexis, alexis.carrie at news.com.au.